Sam, a real disappointing 2018 loss away to York Knights. Um, can you even begin to explain what happened that, in that second half? Uh, I don't think it was just the second half, Mike, the full game. Uh, we started well, which is something we wanted to remedy after a few poor starts, um, which, which was good. That's obviously a positive there. And, couple of sloppy tries, um, our first 20 was really good, the second quarter of the game we just, I think we reverted to where we've been, to be honest, um, flimsy in defence, um, yeah then coming at half time 16 all, all to play for, um, I think there were a couple of big moments really in the game where we'd, our kick finishers were poor from start to finish really, um, and the one where Louis jumps down the short edge, Towers ends up going the length. That took a bit of wind out of the sail, and then a little bit later on, we um, Adam Tanger I dropped the ball, play three maybe on, on goal line. We just didn't build any pressure. Um, yeah, disappointing. And listen, you can get as technical as you want around rugby league. You know, we can talk in in riddles around the X's and O's, but ultimately, you can't put one in anyone. And I felt like they wanted it more than us today, probably because of the situation they found themselves in. That'll go a long way towards correcting their situation. And I thought they were really good, to be fair, considering the week they've had like, what a challenge they, they've rose to the challenge, haven't they? Um, but yeah, for us, we can, we can talk to a blue face, and there's a lot of people talking about what they should do, what they could do, what we could have done um, throughout the week and after games. But ultimately, it's what you do that matters, and you've got to want to do it. And the sick night is that I felt like they wanted to win more than we did. Um, I thought we just accepted our fate a little bit. Well, not, not everyone. I thought Adam O'Brien, Zach McComb, I thought they'd come out with a bit of credit. They threw themselves around and kept going. Um, but yeah, a lot of um, a lot of soul searching to be done, to be honest, Mike. You said we reverted back to flimsy type. But how did that happen and, and, and how, or why? And how, how do you rectify it? Is it? I think confidence is low. I think the expectation from minute one of the season has always been high with us and we haven't lived up to it as yet. Um, and the lads certainly feel it. Um, yes, yeah, so I think if, when we're, we're making errors because we've been doing it and suffering off the back of them, we look like we just sort of crumbled a little bit today. We just expected another one to follow or something bad to follow. Um, we were tackling effort-wise, moving around the pitch, tackling, but I thought that extra effort which comes from your want and desire um, was lacking and, and that's probably where we've lacked it more in the start of games recently we had it at the start of this one but for you know, a high portion of the game I thought we were found wanting as opposed to having them one You're saying that we're not confident whose who responsibility does that ultimately lie down to the, yourselves the players or combination of both? Well all of us really um, you get confidence from your training we're training good everyone's got smiles on the faces but then you, you need to nail the performance to start building it I thought you, know, you look at the season on a whole I thought we were just about getting a rhythm and we lost Kieser and if truth be told based on what we've been dishing up as an halfback partnership um, with what we've tried so far it's been average to be honest average at best and, and in this league this competition where it's good um, average won't do to be honest um, and we get, you get away with it now and again but you won't get away with it consistently and I think it hasn't been, hasn't been the standard it needs to be uh, but yeah confidence Mike it's one of them things um, a bit like anything in your life I suppose if you've got it you've got it and when you want it it's really hard to get hold of it and at the moment where we're searching for it. Brought my life anyway, and on dual race from Castleford, what was thinking behind that, and how do you think it did it Opportunity today? to freshen it up. Um, didn't, I don't think Tibbs has been going that well. Decent in patches, patcher. Uh, an opportunity to bring in an experienced body, and I thought he were okay, but again, because of the collective performance, we didn't get a chance to see what he's about. And a couple of other changes, Dan Murray out of the squad entirely, was that a forced change and rotation, and again, Brandon Morley that as well? No, so Diz missed out because well, he's started all our games pretty much. Um, in the last few games, I think he's been poor. Um, and he knows that, and that's the price. We've got middle, we've got depth in middle, so we can roll that around. Um, and yeah, Brandon, just I thought Tom and Adam went really well last week and an opportunity to let them go again. It's a long season, Brandon plays big minutes and all the rest of it we spoke about before. So no, no alarm bells of Brandon and that there, just, um, just an opportunity to give them another go at it. And, Hindsight's a wonderful thing. I'm not sure Brandon would have changed it, but I reckon he certainly would have brought some want to our game. What kind of reaction are you looking for for next week and what is going to be a massive game away to Batley? Same one we've been looking for for a few weeks. The want. That's all I want. We don't have to play prey. We don't have to do fancy players and all them sort of stuff. Um, the desire to go and compete on everything. 
every tackle, every wrestle on the ground, everything. 